That was it. Dude, that mean, was it. That's all I wanted. Yeah. That's all I wanted, dude. I Real. want you I to just. I got the buckle on right now. Yeah. I mean, I would just want you to walk me through, like, number one, getting the call. Yeah, that was incredible. I cried 100%. No, yeah. not scared to admit it. I had wanted it so bad. I'd thought about it for so long. There were so many times where I didn't think I was good enough or I wasn't going to do it anymore. And and uh, I was actually driving home uh, one evening, and um, Hallie Ray was at the house. I was almost there, and uh, my manager, Enzo, called me. And, yeah, love Enzo. And he's like, hey, you know, the, the rodeo this, rodeo that, rodeo, you know, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And I'm like, what are you talking about? rodeo this and rodeo that you know he's talking about schedules and times and you know this we got to do this for this and i'm like what is all this about and he's like oh you're playing the, and so that was kind of how he was messing <laughs> with me but dude I, I, I this is a true story i pulled my truck over i'll cry right now talking about it and i called my dad and then and i think he was crying too but it was it was uh i mean it's seventy four thousand people we sold it out our first time there um i mean i just can't even I had a, I think I had my second number one the same day that we played the Houston Rodeo. So it was just a crazy, crazy time. Um, it's, uh, I can't explain it. That's my favorite football team. That's their home stadium. You're out there in the middle, you know, and, and it's the Houston Rodeo. It's the Houston man. Rodeo, man. It's, uh, it was, it was everything I wanted, dude. And, and it's all of a sudden it was over. Damn. That was it. 